Namaste ji, welcome to Ibn Tasty Hair Cooking with Ed Sanila, your daughter-in-law from Albania. Friends, thank you so much for your love and support, for beautiful comments and thank you for subscribing my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, pele, jaldi jaldi karo, subscribe the channel. So, today's recipe is chole. Chole is my favorite food. Chole is India's most favorite vegetarian food. So, chole it is cooked mostly in every party. People love it. Party is not complete if chole is not cooked. So, let's not waste time and let's start cooking chole. So, here we have chole. So, this is exactly the chole which we get from the market. This is the ready one which we buy it. And we have to soak chole in the water overnight. So it becomes like this. As we can see the difference of both. So it absorbs water and it increases in the size. And it becomes a little soft as well. So after we soak overnight in the water, we have to wash it. And we have to boil again to give more softness. Okay. This is a suggestion for my Albanian friends which it will be so difficult for them to find the chole pieces in the market. So instead of uh, cooking the chole pieces they can use different kind of beans which are available everywhere. So I am just giving the example of these two different kind of beans. So just follow the same process of chole and make it with those kind of beans you will get a similar taste. So we take chole which we have soaked in the water overnight. So we have to boil it again. So we need the cooker, okay, so it is faster to boiling cooker, so let's, let's put chole here and let's add enough water. We need at least 10 whistles to cook it, so in the same time we get enough uh, water also because we need that water to cook the gravy. Okay, so add water according to that. So after we boil chole and we, as we see here we do have enough water as well. Even the water has taken a color. It's a yellow color. So we can just check. You see chole it is soft. So it should be this much soft. It should not be cooked too much because it breaks and it doesn't look good as well when you serve it. So now let's start making gravy. For making chole we need a uh, heart masala which is cinnamon stick, star anise and bay leaf. We need coriander leaf, fresh one and green chili. We need ginger garlic paste. We can prepare it at home or we can buy it outside, that depends, ready one. We need salt. Here we have coriander powder. We need chole masala, which is used only for chole. Red chili powder. And turmeric powder. So we need to cut onion and we need to cut tomato. So we have to make an onion paste. So let's start cutting onion in the big, big cube because we are going to grind it anyhow. So once we are done with the cuttings, we can uh, put in the grinder and we can grind and make the onion paste. So here we have onion paste. We can keep aside and we can start cutting tomato. So for tomato, we have to cut it in uh, small pieces, not very big pieces because we are not going to make it a paste. We are going to fry it. So when the gravy is made, we need the tomato to, to feel it, to taste it when we eat it. It should not, you know, become it uh, dissolved in the gravy. This is the desired size which you want to add. Okay, so we start making gravy. Okay, so we need to add oil or 
at least six to seven uh, spoon of oil because jone it needs a little it a little extra oil it, it stays here so don't think much about oil it's okay if you add a little more now the oil is heated we have to add hard masala After the hard masala is cooked proper, we need to add onion paste. Add entire paste immediately. And keep mixing it. Keep in a medium flame. We can cover it for a few minutes. So as we can see, onion has taken a brown brown color. It means it is cooked fully. And make sure that even the pieces of onion which are there has to be soft because we are going to make gravy. It is dry right now. It's okay. It has to be dry. Important is that onion is cooked properly. So now we have to add ginger garlic paste. We are going to add two spoons. Mix it. While ginger garlic paste is in the process of cooking, now we have to add green mirchi. So we are going to add three. Let's make it little three paprika. It's fine. Let's cut it in two pieces. Okay, so we can add it here now and we cover it again. Now the ginger garlic paste is cooked and onion also has turned to a brown color which is looking very very tasty. It's time to add tomato. Let's mix it. And we have to cover it for 10 minutes. That tomato, it has to become little soft and it should cook. So after tomato is cooked, so we can check it as we see it is soft. And it is cooked fully. It's time to add powder. So we are going to add salt, red chili powder, one and half spoon, coriander powder, one spoon, turmeric, one spoon, and chole masala powder, one spoon. We mix all together. We have to mix it proper because spices has to mix with onion and tomato and has to be cooked. So let's mix it. And we have to cover and cook for at least 5 minutes. So till the masala will be cooked, we do have time. So friends, I'm going to tell you stories about chole, how much chole is important. So you know when we have parties at home and we get together, you know, when the uh, friends come at home, immediately they do ask you, Aaj khana kya hai? So, you tell them that, Aaj chole hai. They are like, Wah, kya baat hai? Chole. So, chole is very important. It's very important dish in a party. So, friends, do cook and let me know. Bohot tasty with itna tasty. So, after the spices are cooked proper, let's check it. So we are going to use water which we have boiled chole. Okay, which we have it here ready. So now here it's very tricky. We are going to use only little water. So we have to keep mixing it. So we are going, we are not going to add all the water in one time. 
let's add only little first and mix it so we have to keep increasing and adding water slowly slowly okay let's add again and let's mix again it's looking brilliant it has taken a brown color so this is how gravy is being cooking keep mixing all the time while adding while adding water mix let's add more water to cover it at least for 5 minutes in a medium flame and then later again we can add water we are going to add again water and let's make gravy with the way we desire it let's mix it and we cover it again for at least 5 minutes so that's why we have to Keep adding water, mix it, cook it again, keep adding water. These are the steps. Okay, so let's cover it again for 5 minutes. Let's check gravy. Beautifully, it's boiling as we can see and it has taken a beautiful color. It's looking yummy. So nice. So now it's time to add chole pieces. Let's add chole pieces and we have to boil it again for 10 minutes. It's looking yummy. It's looking so delicious. Let's mix it again and cover it and boil it for 10 minutes. So, chole is boiling. We have to check if it is done or no. You can see the steam also. It's coming here. Amazing. It's smelling. As we can see, chole is boiling. It is looking very yummy. Gravy is there, as you see. Bohot acha dikri hai. Bohot tasty. So, I think we are done. We close the gas and it's time to serve it. Time to dish out our favorite dish. So it is smelling so good. It is looking so yummy. Bohot acha tasty with itna tasty. So yummy. So delicious. Looking so good. Now we have to add coriander it's looking beautifully yummy bohot acha so when we serve it we add coriander it gives a good smell also but it looks beautiful in the same time chole is ready it's smelling so good it's looking so delicious and when I made roti, which is in my first video, everyone asked me with what you can eat roti. So roti also can be eaten with chole. Chole can be eaten with roti and with puri. Okay, so that is optional. So we are going to try now chole. So yummy. Bohot acha tasty. It's very nice. Guys, please do cook at home and let me know. Acha chole, acha tasty hai. So friends, this was the day's recipe chole. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you will like. Please do comment, subscribe and let me know how you cook the chole. So let's meet next week. Namaste, dhanyabad.